to Dimfna, patron saint of the mentally ill, written from the perspective of myself at 13 years old. Do not let my body become another ripped up doctor's note. The handwriting is so illegible now, and I never know what to tell people when they find me in this state. I have distanced myself from my name, my parents, my home, my mood. Swings like a pendulum an inch away from my eyes. I'm getting dizzy, Dimfna. I'm wrapped in my chemical imbalance as though it's a blanket and I want to burn it. I want to let its charred smell cleanse my bedroom. I want to scream at the sky until it locks my voice away in a Pandora's box. I want to be okay, Dimfna. My father told me once that he wanted this familiar, supposedly genetic pain to skip my life altogether, but here is the pain. Here is the pain that no one ever prepared me for. The manic episodes that turn my chest into a burning city. The medications I have to take until I am all. Pharmaceutical orange, the sense of hopelessness that is always lingering, always watching. And it seems as though some people expect me to know the statistics about bipolar disorder by heart. All I know by heart is myself. All of my seemingly bad blood, all of my pain, I don't want to be another statistic, Dimfna. I don't want to be another prayer on my mother's lips to a god that she hates now, or another crumbling pillar of a girl who is begging for help as though she is begging for shelter. I need shelter from this eradicating storm that is my brain. Give me shelter. All I know by heart is myself. So let me tape or sew or mend myself back together. Let me show the world that I'm not crazy. I'm not a summer swarm of bees or the beginning of the apocalypse. I am just a girl. I am not a lost cause. Let me show you what my voice sounds like, Dimfna. This is what my, I, I sound like, and I cannot be quiet anymore. So unlock Pandora's box and let me be heard. Let me talk over my bipolar disorder just this once. Let me stop time altogether so I can be heard. Let me be heard. Yeah.